Zinc Oxide Arrester The arrester consists of a zinc oxide tablet placed inside a ceramic tube. Electrodes are connected to the end of the tablet. Relative permittivity of air, 1. Relative permittivity of ceramic, 3. Relative permittivity of the zinc oxide element, 60. Conductivity of the zinc oxide element, nonlinear. Surge peak voltage, 70 kilovolts. Calculate the current through the arrestor. To simulate the problem, you should specify the problem parameters. Define the geometric model. Provide material data and boundary conditions. Solve the problem and analyze results. To create a new problem, press New button and choose Quick Field Problem. Specify the problem name and destination folder. The problem type is transient electric. The model class is axisymmetric. Specify the geometry and data file names. Proper length units should be selected. Cartesian coordinates are more suitable to build the model. A final time of 100 microseconds should be enough for process analysis. The time step of 2 microseconds provides good accuracy. The problem description is finished. We have specified problem type, length units, and model class. Now we can define a geometric model. Press Edit Geometry button to open the model file. It is more convenient to set the value of grid spacing to 5 mm. Do it under the View menu and select Grid Settings. Type in the grid cell size here. Switch to Insert mode to build the model. Define the model geometry using direct lines and arc primitives of the model editor. After the model geometry is defined, the mesh should be built. Providing materials data and boundary conditions. Labels assigned to the geometric objects describe material properties, sources, and boundary conditions. To assign a label, right-click the object and choose Properties. Type in the label name here. Labels are listed in the problem tree for every object group. Double-clicking the label in the tree invokes the corresponding properties dialog. Relative permittivity of air is 1. Relative permittivity of ceramic is 3. Conductivity of ceramic is e to the negative 12 siemens per meter. Relative permittivity of zinc oxide is 60. Conductivity of zinc oxide is nonlinear.
The ground connected surface has zero potential. The surge impulse is described by this function. Having finished with the labels properties description, we can solve the problem and analyze the solution. Press solve problem button to solve the problem. To see the time plot, select the HV contact and choose Time Plot. Right click and choose Integrals to see the current versus time curve. 